Hi everyone. I wanted to show you a painting that I did not do a video of, but I love how the colors turned out. I'll bring it in a little closer so you can see it. Very, very coastal colors, water, lots of big cells. I'm going to do a smaller painting today, but with just golds and whites. But I love this one. It's still drying, so I can't hold it up any longer. Be right back. And so today we are going to do a dirty cup pour, probably a sandwich pour, which is what I like to do. And I'm going to do just varying shades of golds. I've got champagne, a taupe. A antique, a Sahara gold. I'm going to throw in a rose gold. I thought that might be a little nice. And then I've got a pearl white. And then I'm also doing a unbleached white, just a little bit. And then a regular white. Let me grab my pouring cup. And I'm recycling this cup. It had a little bit of resin on the outside of it, but it doesn't have anything on the inside, so we're good. Um, I've got to pour a little bit of alcohol. I always like using alcohol in my metallics. I don't think I'm going to use it in all of my metallics today just because I don't really have any opaque colors other than the unbleached white and the regular white. So I've just mixed in a little bit of alcohol to I'm going to put it in the look how pretty this is. Little rose gold if you haven't used that it is a really pretty color kind of a blush color but with a hint of pink to it and it's metallic okay. this is my regular antique gold here a little bit in there And I'm going to put a little bit of silicone in the unbleached white, if I can find my silicone. I know you guys know how that is. I'll bring my torch over while I'm at it. This is a little bottle with alcohol in it. I may or may not use it. It's a little spray bottle. Sometimes I do. It just depends. Put a few drops of that silicone. And I don't mix the silicone that much because you want you don't want it to just be lost if you want big cells. I'm gonna put a little bit of alcohol and the pearl white. And I always put alcohol in my white top and bottom of my sandwich, at least for this type of pour I do. And I made this a little um, thinner than I usually do. I wanted to see if it would help with the lacing on and make more of this metallic show through. So we shall see. All right, so I'm ready to pour. And I'm going to start with the alcohol with the white. And you really don't need a lot of color. I really want this to be pale, so I'm not going to put a lot of color in. It's going to be a lot more white than color. So let's see if you can see this. Just some drizzles. I don't know if you can see that. Now, because I didn't put a lot of silicone in, I am going to add a few drops in as we, as I build the cup. 
and the alcohol and the silicone will fight against each other, creating cells. Now, I also create cells um, after I do my flip, and you'll see how I do that. Oop, got a little drag in there. Don't want that in there. Oh, almost forgot my champagne. This is the champagne gold. It's so pretty. I love this color. Couple of drops of silicone, get some pearl white. I'll put a little bit more of this gold, and then that's all I'm going to put in there. We're going to see how this works out. All right, I'm going to top it off with my alcohol white here. Can you see that? Okay, I'm ready to flip. Let me move these out of the way. Now, to prep my canvas, I have not done anything to it because I do that after I flip, and you will see. If you've watched any of my videos before, this particular is my favorite type of uh, flip cup. It's a dirty flip cup because you're mixing it, but it's a sandwich because you put the white on the bottom, the white on top, and the color in between. <clears throat> I do not drag this kind. I let it organically come out of the from the top to the bottom, and, but I do, let's see, you do need to give it some paint to help it continue flowing, and you'll see that in a minute. This is my messiest white. This is just regular white with Floetrol and water. This is my messiest, so my, my nozzle is clog right now, so I'm just going to pour it on here and spread it with my spoon. Oh, and I forgot, I almost forgot, um, I'm going to be doing some 24 karat gold, liquid gold leaf, which I'm going to grab real quick. Um, and I will probably also be using my Pebio Antique Gold Oil Paint a little later on, and I'll show you that. This is my liquid gold leaf, which I like to use. I need to get a stir stick for that, but I'm not ready for that right now. Okay, so I'm going to spread with a spoon. I like on these smaller paintings, this is an easy way to do it. Of course, I don't mind getting my fingers dirty. So, um, I like to, when it goes over the edge, I like to just go ahead and spread it with my fingers. Use a lot of paper towels, y'all. It's coming over the edge over here. Now, you want this good coverage so you have a clean, I like, to, I'm going to leave quite a bit of negative space. And uh, you want it to be a nice, clean, white finish. So it doesn't have to be perfect to start with because you don't know where your flow is going to end. And uh, you can go back and fix. So you can go back and you'll see how I fix it in the end. I do go ahead and do all of my corners well in case it doesn't flow all the way to my corners. And... Um, I like that to be done from the beginning if I can help it. Yeah, that's pretty good for now. That's a lot of white. Again, does not have to be perfect. I'll fix the edges after we do the tilting and before and the tilting. 
So, here we go. Now, in order to get the backing, the suction, to start letting go of this paint, I poke a hole. There you go, it's already moving. You see that? Which means, ooh, this one's moving fast. I need to go ahead and do some of my drips because it is going fast. I add drips to help encourage some extra cells. You see this uh, white? I'm doing some big drips because I want more white in there. I'm going to do a little champagne. And I'll do more after I lift the cup because it's going to create even more uh, probably sh shouldn't have added that dark. I'm not going to add that. I don't even think I want to do any more rose gold. I think just some more white with the alcohol. Oh, this must be, I thought I had this leveled properly, but it is certainly about to go over this edge and I did not want it to do that. Okay, and it is still going, 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 there we go. All right, so let's see how much more needs to come out here. We'll do some more champagne. I'm gonna do some champagne on the outsides too. But I need to start, go ahead and start tilting because it is moving quickly. I think I have more paint than I actually needed. It's okay though, it's gonna be beautiful. And I am gonna do a couple of, oh yeah. Of those right there. Nice. Okay. So when this comes up, I'm going to do a little bit there. Go ahead and do a little like that. A little bit like this. And now here we go. Um, I hate getting rid of this little flower looking, but it's going to go away. I'll do some more at the end. Up. I don't want to take all the negative space. I'm going to go down and then I'm going to go back up. I'm going to go down. Create some. Uh, I like that now. I like how this all stayed with that lacing. I love the marble drag. And look, kept that little flower looking piece there. There's a little bit of the rose gold still coming through. Let me make sure I put this back on that so it doesn't tilt too much. Now, I'm liking this so far. I may not need to do any of this Pebeo on top. I love the subtleness of it. Let me get a paper towel. Oh, I'll just use my apron. Um... Let me see about using some fire. Let's see what we get here. Of course, the flame gets rid of the small bubbles, but it also encourages some of the larger alcohol cells to grow and develop, which you can see right here how that's already happening. And it's really a cool look. I don't like that all over my painting, but I certainly like it in certain areas. Like I want these to stay solid, these larger white cells, but I love this part right here. All right, so that's enough of that for now. 
And I'm wondering, should I add some more rose gold somewhere? I think I am going to add just a hint of it through here. Grab a paper towel real quick. I have relocated them while I was doing some resin earlier. And this will be resined in the end also, so it'll be highly shiny, reflective. And when you're doing this with, if you want to see what I'm, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just getting a little bit on my popsicle stick, and I'm just adding it where, and just dragging it through. And you can see it just leaves a little hint of it wherever you want to put it. So, um, I already have it there. Kind of need a little over here. Now that defined it a little bit, and I like that. Really, when I started, wasn't planning on doing that, but I do like it. Question is, do I want another big drop of it anywhere? I really don't think I do. I don't think I'm gonna mess with it. Sometimes you can just start messing with it too much. And I can't decide if I'm even gonna do my liquid gold leaf let me let me give it a little bit more flame and see if i even need that i don't know if you can see it but all the little bubbles are popping which is good you need to have all of those so it dries smooth Get all the air bubbles out and right now all of my edges look great because i did a really good bottom coat base coat and usually I have to do a ton of touch-up I see a little bit right here Oops, take some white and dab it just a hair right there teeny bit here walk around to this side a couple of little places back here but nothing major at all and a little white on this corner a little white on that corner I like my corners to be very well painted. Now, one of the things that I like, and this is just me, everybody's different. I mean, that's why they call it art, and it's very a personal thing. Um, I like a lot of white and a lot of negative space. A lot of people don't. I don't use a lot of dark colors, and if I do, I have white to balance it. And um, I think this one has, has both. And I think I am going to do a little tiny bit. I'm really not. I'm going to just leave that in its organic state right there. I think my friend Stephanie's going to like this one. She's my white girl. In other words, everything in her house is white. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to take this down. Let me wipe my hands one more time. I'll take this down and let y'all see.
that little area, which is the last of the cup, is always a fun little area. You never know how that's going to turn out. Um, sorry, y'all, about the camera. I'm still trying to figure out the best way. This is a... Uh, do it like this. Let's see if y'all can see. I love this area right here. There's just a lot of big and small cells. And I like this area. It's got some really faint cells in it, but it's very white. And then look at these little flowers. I don't know if you can see that, but I like that. So there it is. I hope y'all enjoyed that. And from Fairhope, Alabama, Tamitha McElmurray, and I'll see you soon.